Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new, this is my Great Pyrenees Nello, and in today's video we are going to be talking about 5 ways to exercise your Great Pyrenees. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So the number one way to exercise your Great Pyrenees is going to be um, taking them on walks. So Great Pyrenees should go on at least 2 walks a day, that's the daily recommended time if that's all you're doing, so if you're only walking your dog, Two walks is like the minimum amount of walks that you should take your dog on and they love walks and it is a super great way to get energy out. They're not one for really to go on like long runs or like even like short little jogs. They're better at walking so they won't make a very good running partner but they make excellent walking partners. So number two is going to be hiking. Taking your Great Pyrenees on a hike. We take Mello on hikes almost every Sunday. If not on hikes then we normally go to the park and take them walking around the path. But we always try to take him hiking. Hiking is a super great way to get your dog to burn energy. And hiking where they they can smell all the different smells is super enriching for them. And it will make them even more tired. Mental stimulation makes them tired. So taking them on hikes where they can smell will tire them out super easily. One thing to remember when you take your dog hiking is that each dog is different. And you should pick the trail based on your dog. So with certain dogs, certain dogs can only go a certain distance, so make sure you factor that into which hiking trail you're going to go on, and make sure you're not over-exercising your dog. So number three is going to be finding treats. So this is a great mental stimulation for them, and as I said, mental stimulation definitely burns a lot of energy because it is super tiring for a dog, but hiding treats around your house and having your dog smell for them well, is an easy way to get them exercise and to get them like up and moving. So just placing treats around your house under like pillows or hiding it in a bookshelf, something like that. Number four is going to be weight pulling. So Great Pyrenees, they were actually used to pull carts back then. So like during like certain times they were used to pull carts of like weapons and stuff. So Getting your Great Pyrenees to pull like a little cart is actually, some of them actually really enjoy it because the pulling is fun for them. So like getting a little cart and having your dog pull it. It's important to remember though that if you are going to be having your dog pull any sort of thing, make sure you have the proper equipment, like the proper harness and proper gear, and make sure you talk to your vet before your dog is pulling anything. You don't want to have your dog pull something too early, especially for puppies. That can be super bad for their hips and you don't want a dog whose hips aren't good to be pulling because that can also cause problems. So make sure to ask your vet before your dog starts any pulling of any kind. And number five is going to be fetch or tug. Fetch or tug is a super easy way to tire out your dog and it can be super fun for them. So that is going to be all for this video. That is five ways to exercise your Great Pyrenees. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and we will catch you guys next time.